Well, folks, you know what they say. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And that's what's happening with Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro, a supposed uh, free speech warrior, I believe that this is the way that he would describe himself, he decided to shut down a student and censor them because this student decided to show up at a panel that he was having in Iowa and try to press him a little bit on his uh, definition of woke. And Ben Shapiro didn't like that. Ben Shapiro started to lose this debate. And then what he did was censor the student. Take a look. So are your, do you come from Holocaust survivors or are you a Jewish family that didn't? Uh, so my great, great grandparents arrived here. A lot of our extended family was killed in the Holocaust, but, but our our immediate Your great, great grandparents, but not your grandparents. Right. Oh, do you have friends whose grandparents were Holocaust survivors or anything like that? Of course, that? many of them. Yeah, I've written, I've, I've, helped, uh, I've helped write memoirs of Holocaust survivors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Their families are kind of messed up, right? Uh, like, my family is very messed up. I mean, if you they, go through a teach, trauma like the Holocaust, they, I would imagine They teach that trauma between generations. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, trauma very often in a lot of circumstances is passed down. I mean, I know some kids of Holocaust survivors who turned out fantastic and some who didn't. I mean, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So okay. you are officially woke. That is what wokeness is about. It's like, uh, you know, people's grandparents or their great grandparents were slaves. Well, it's okay. No, no, it's okay. Guys, Fuck I, you. I'm I want, talking. Guys, I, I actually want to hear. No, no, I, want, I want to hear. I, no, this it's okay. Guy, it's okay. I, I, I want, I want, to, I want to hear. The, let's at least hear the argument. Let's, okay, so let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Go. What? He wants to hear me. I do want to hear it. It's fine. Let he him go. Let, let's hear it. Come on. I'll just, you know, so ex explain Come how on. that's woke. So, I mean, the whole thing is, is like, Oh, let's see. So during Silent Cal, Calvin Coolidge's administration, do you know about like the great Mississippi flood back in the 1930s? I understand that American history is filled with racial evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that causes some intergenerational trauma, which affects people's ability to be you okay, know, so let me, effective let me, okay. and things like that. Fine. So let me ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, so if the idea is that history has consequences, of course that's true. That's not yeah, wokeness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is not wokeness. What wokeness suggests is that fundamental institutions in American society no, are so... No, it doesn't. Yes, I, it 100% I ran, does. I ran Elizabeth Warren's campaign. I helped organize her volunteers around here. I am, I am a representative of wokeness. Okay, well, and that's just, I mean, this is all it is. Well, I mean, like, I mean, I... I, you know, I when, I, that, when I uh, went to go get my first tattoo, I, I, the guy I, I, had lightning bolts and 88s tattooed on his neck. And as a Jewish person, um, that's really messed up. It's, so it's basically a threat. There are, there are racist people who exist. The argument that you're making, and I'm going to close with this because this is going in weird directions and I don't really no, want to... No, no, no. It's not I, going I don't, in a I don't really direction. want to... Get, no, just hold this up is, a second. This I let, is I let you get out your arguments. And that's, now it's time for me to respond because I let you say Okay, I'll let you respond, but... No, I no, no, not but. Now's my turn. You, you are not characterizing but, what I'm saying accurately. Now, now, it's, now it's my turn. Your, your, yeah. your definition is inaccurate. The reason your definition is inaccurate is because any sentient human being would acknowledge that history has consequences. Right. But if the idea is, but that's not what wokeism is. Wokeism is a different thing. Wokeism suggests that all inequalities of today are attributable to not only historic injustices, but also continuing injustices in the now. And I've that never all disparity is attributable to discrimination. Like that, but a not just that. Not a just conservative that. is the not only just, person. Not and just. I want to know why. Why is it that conservatives are the only people who define it like that? Why, why are conservatives do, the okay, only okay, people? Okay, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to stop here because this is going nowhere. But What's up? I, I, we're, I'm gonna have to stop with this with you because this is going nowhere. All I'm going well, to say is this. To no, sum up, I, I just I, am I, trying I, to I, understand I your perspective. On it. Just one more second. On a, it's. On you a, say on a, on a fundamental on a, a fundamental level, you are shifting definitions to avoid the consequences correct? of your own argument. And if the idea is, and, and, fi and, is and final point, speech. and final this point, being and final point, if you are going you to hold on, warrior. if you are also, also, just final point to sum up there. So. The only explanation as to why Ben Shapiro shut down that exchange was because he was losing. 
I mean, that person was very clearly trying to engage in good faith, but that's not what Ben Shapiro wants. At these events, when he opens up the microphone, he's not looking for a good faith conversation. He's looking for a clippable moment of some, you know, a naive college student that he can own, put that up on YouTube and say, Ben Shapiro destroys woke college student, and then you profit off of it with the clicks. Um, you know, so that that's really what this is about. So... If that individual there who challenged him thought that Ben Shapiro wanted to have a good faith conversation, then, you know, he was mistaken. But I don't I don't think that, you know, that was the case. I think that he knew what he was getting himself into. Now, um, I don't necessarily understand why Ben Shapiro's definition of wokeism is wokeism. L let me explain. So he says that woke is defined as um, all inequalities of today are attributable to not only historic injustices, but also continuing injustices in the now, and that all disparities attributable to discrimination. Okay, that's inst institutional racism, but why does that become woke? Like, what about that specifically is woke? What qualifier turns that into woke? So it's systemic racism as I understand it, but there's something about that that makes it woke. What? And I don't think that Ben Shapiro really could explain that. I mean, systemic racism, according to a lot of conservatives, is probably being woke. Just being socially progressive, not being a hateful bigot, is woke. Because the way that the right has used the term woke is essentially as a synonym for things that they don't like. It's the same way that they use communism. Oh, well, that person sub said something that I disagree with. They're a communist. I mean, these words have meanings, right? But woke isn't necessarily, you know, a well-defined term, but it, it's essentially just a pejorative for anyone who is left-leaning at this point. That's functionally what it has become. Even Merriam-Webster says that that's what it is. They say woke is now defined in this dictionary as aware of and actively attentive to important facts and issues, especially issues of racial and social justice, and identified as U.S. slang. It originated in African-American English and gained more widespread use beginning in 2014 as part of the Black Lives Matter movement. By the end of that same decade, it was also being applied by some as a general pejorative for anyone who is or appears to be politically politically left leading. Yeah, so it just means lefty. It's the new SJW. I mean, even Donald Trump said that he unendorsed a particular Republican running for uh, Congress because he went woke. Now, in what way did he supposedly go woke? Well, he said that we should move on from the 2020 election, and even though he absolutely thinks the election was stolen for Joe Biden, well, maybe we should move on. Trump said he went woke and unendorsed him. So really going woke, it just means bad. That's that's the way that the right uses it. So it, it essentially has no meaning. And this is why conservatives consistently have to come up with new terms, right? SJW, uh, woke, snowflake. It's because they end up taking these definitions and they stretch them so thin that they lose all meaning. So they have to come up with new terms to continuously name call lefties because they can't actually engage in good faith on the basis of our arguments because they lose. Hence why Ben Shapiro shut down that debate and censored that student. Now, I want to get to some reactions here. So Jason Campbell says, Ben Shapiro's entire persona is built on speaking with miraged authority. It's a trick that works only when he's not scrutinized, but underneath it all, there's just a vacuum. Exactly. Wendell says, does Ben Shapiro think you're wrong is an argument? You can't just cut them off before they give an actual reason, Ben. That's not what an argument is. Also, are these stagehands actually just censoring this dude because he said Ben's definitely definition of wokeness was wrong. Yeah, and, and let's let's explore that a little bit. We just watched uh, another event where Ben Shapiro responded to hecklers who said, fuck you, and he said, fuck you is not an argument. Okay, well, your wrong is also not an argument. You laid out your definition. He laid out his definition. Why won't you engage? Well, we all know it's because Ben Shapiro he doesn't want to waste his time. This isn't going to be a clippable moment. This isn't going to be one of those instances where he can clearly say, I destroyed that naive college student. It's not. So he's challenged. And, you know, all of these students challenge him, but they're not as rehearsed as Ben Shapiro is. Love him or hate him. I mean, this is an, an individual 
who is, at least on the surface level, seemingly intelligent. He's articulate and he can speak very fast. And he's rehearsed all of these talking points again and again. So it's very easy to look foolish when you go up against someone like Ben Shapiro, who does this for a living. And so he doesn't want to actually engage with someone because what value does that yield to him? You can't clip that out. But we can clip that out on the left because we prove that Ben Shapiro is a free speech fraud. He's a censorian, right? He just censored that person. Some more reactions here. Hassan says, imagine getting owned by an Elizabeth Warren student organizer. <laughs> Exactly. Justin Bargona quotes Ben Shapiro saying, I'm going to close with this because this is going in weird directions. Speaks at 2.5x speed. Exactly. Um, so I might be dating myself here, but does anyone know who Twista is? Twista is uh, a Guinness World Record holder for being the fastest rapper in the world. He can uh, speak 598 syllables within 55 seconds. So to me, I've long maintained that Ben Shapiro is the political equivalent of Twista because he could spit fast, but nothing he's saying is substantive at all. And look, I'm a fan of Twista. I grew up with Twista's music, but if you really try to parse out the lyrics and understand what he's saying, none of it really is valuable or substantive or deep at all. And that's really what Ben Shapiro is. It, it, you know, it's all a facade. There's this appearance of intellectualism and intelligence but, you know, this is the same guy who told people that if, you know, your house is underwater due to climate change, you could just sell your house and move. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> Ben Shapiro, he doesn't really know what he's talking about because he's trying to just get these owns in. He's not actually looking for an intellectual debate. He's not intellectually curious. He's a hack. And I, I think that this clip, it proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Wet, 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 ass, ass, fewer, fewer.